William W. Meyer & Sons is the industry leader in the manufacture of rotary airlocks, double flap gates, and other airlock technologies used to convey dry bulk materials. Hi, I'm Jennifer, Customer Coordinator at William W. Meyer & Sons. Today we're here to demonstrate the cleaning process for the drive end of the innovative Meyer Clean in Place 2. Before starting, please make sure you have read and followed all instruction manual procedures included in the Meyer Service Manual. Also make sure that all power is disconnected following the required lockout tagout procedures to eliminate any chance of an accidental start. Begin by loosening the wing nuts on the packing gland retainer at the drive end. This will allow the drive end to easily separate from the rotor. Remove the hex handles located on the drive end head plate, allowing the head plate to slide away from the rotor. In between the housing and the end plate is the flange gasket. Remove the flange gasket from the unit. Now that the rotor and end plate are separated from the housing, you're ready to clean the valve internals according to your company's procedures. Once you're done cleaning the rotor, it's time to reassemble the valve. Start by replacing the flange gasket. When putting a new flange gasket on, make the holes in the flange gasket line up with the holes in the flange pattern. Then simply slide the drive end head plate back in place, engaging the coupling in the rotor. Screw the hex handles back on and tighten the wing nuts on the packing gland retainer. Your valve is now ready to be returned to operation. Please take time to review our video library for other Meyer products or call 1-800-963-4458 for more information.